Do you do you think um so I, I've talked to my dad about this too and I was like things look pretty bad from my point of view at the moment and I don't know if it's going to get worse um or if if people are going to get sick of it and in maybe a decade things will turn around because it's gotten worse so quickly that maybe society needs time to catch up to kind of realize what's going on to fight back against it but I asked him if it was actually worse than what he's experienced because he's been alive during, he was very concerned about the Cold War, right? And that was definitely, you know, America entered danger zone during uh, that period of time. But do you think from your experience throughout life, politically, this is the most unstable you've seen America? Oh, absolutely. We said, you know, there was a time when the Democratic and Republican parties were not too far apart. They really weren't. They had some different things, you know, uh, different ideologies in a little way. But you can have peaceful conversation. You can have intelligent dialogue. You know, Democrats and Republicans got along. Um, I've never seen this country so divided. I've never seen such vitriol, such hatred, such venom coming out from one side against the other. And it's starting at the top. Listen, you know, I, I, I was a supporter of Donald Trump because I supported his policies. And I took some heat from that. People say, well, you're a Trump lover. I said, no, I'm just not a Trump hater. I don't have the syndrome. I supported his policies because I thought they were good for America. I said, listen, I don't invite him to my house for dinner. He's not going to date one of my daughters. Uh, you know, personally, we don't have to get along. But his, his policies for America, I thought, were good. If he was a Democrat, I would I would support him also because of his policies. But you you can't even talk like that anymore Mm because people are so blinded by hatred. And, you know, what I disagreed with Trump is I thought he was very divisive. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, he had to fight back. Well, he could have fought back a little bit more diplomatically because it starts from the top. You know, when people see this division on the top, it, it bleeds down into have these two forces that are just at odds with each other all the time. And I'm seeing that now worse than ever, worse than ever. There's so much division in this country. Families are fighting with one another over their political beliefs. It's just terrible. And I think we're on a course. I don't it would take somebody with a very, very strong personality and real leadership quality, somebody that has to be charismatic, that has to be endearing, has to be just that special kind of person to try to and really believe in bringing this country together again. And yeah. I just don't know if that person exists. Yeah, that's going to be a difficult person to, to find. Um, even just somebody who wants to bring the country together and doesn't think that one part of the country are full of demons. <laughs> Even just finding that person. Yeah. 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 That's going to be tricky. 